You are about to travel back in time at Rowan University's Edelman Fossil Park. We're digging for some fossils. This records the very last moment of the dinosaurs, the KPG event. It occurs when an asteroid hits off the coast of Mexico. This is a 65 million year old fossil. Every step that you took down that walkway brought you back in time about 400,000 years. Thinking about what lived in this land 65 million years ago is just like mind blowing. That's one of our indicator fossils. My feet are standing in the Cretaceous period when dinosaurs dominate the globe. My hand is asking the dinosaurs. No dinosaurs anywhere in the earth. You can find so much even if it's in the most unexpected places. We're in the heart of suburban South Jersey here. It's definitely something you wouldn't expect to have sitting behind a Lowe's somewhere. You never think the place where you live had dinosaurs roaming around before you were here. This is our research area. We're concentrating on this layer that marks the end of the time of the dinosaurs. It seems that we really have the death event recorded here with thousands and thousands of skeletons. We have about 50 different species. I've looked for this thing in Patagonia, in Argentina, in the Sahara Desert, in the Gobi Desert in China, and then we find it in a pit behind the Lowe's in Mantua Township, South Jersey. <laughs> Ready to dig for some fossils? Right now, we're only open by special events. We have our big annual dig day. We have lots of school groups in the spring and fall. This is the first year I actually found something really big. I'm really excited about it. I think it makes you feel like a kid again. Get your hands dirty a little bit. It's pretty easy to find a fossil here. It's pointy. My three-year-old's really into fossils, so he wanted to come and dig for fossils. Do what any kid would want to do, you know, look for dinosaur bones. So everybody that comes who tries a little and who's not afraid to get their hands dirty finds a 65 million year old fossil with their own hands that they get to take home. I thought we were so far away from dinosaurs. We can walk from here from our house. I hope they don't make us move because we're sitting on a dinosaur park. We dig in an area that represents the last moments of the dinosaurs, and that is scientifically important layers. This shows us how sudden and calamitous changes in the Earth's environment and ecosystems can be. The dinosaurs were around for about 135 million years. They were completely dominant and then one day a space rock hits the earth and wipes out the dinosaurs and then we kind of creep out of our hidey holes. The meek inherited the earth. None of that happens if that asteroid doesn't hit that day. It's a warning because what we are doing to our climate right now, our ecosystems, our biodiversity, we can really mess this place up. I don't know if humans will ever invent a time machine, but I have one. It's called a shovel and I can get it at the hardware store and it's awesome. We have to look to the ancient past to see how the planet has reacted to disturbance before. When visitors come down, they walk through five different geological layers. You can see where it goes from green sand to that yellow sand. That's the birth of New Jersey. That happens about 25 million years ago. I grew up in southern New Jersey, and I didn't know about the history of dinosaurs in New Jersey until later in my life. 1858, the world's first real dinosaur skeleton is discovered about 10 miles north of here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Then in 1866, the world's first Tyrannosaurus, not a T-Rex, discovered a mile from here in Ceres Park in Mantua Township. Southern New Jersey really becomes the cradle of dinosaur paleontology. It's a great way to connect people to nature, to our past, to the Earth's ancient past. It brings out the adventurer in everyone and the scientist and the explorer. 